on to the adventure. Now I'm putting on W four C Y three. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest who I absolutely love, not only because they have great music, but they are one of my favorite interviews that I did before. So I'm so happy to be doing it again. Let's welcome to the show the Oxymorons. How are you? Hey, hey. What's up? <laughs> So uh, you guys are pretty busy since last time I saw you. Tell me what's been going on. <laughs> that is the yeah, you, yeah, you that right. That's right. Yes. That was I think the beginning of no yeah. of yeah, all this. Was literally September. Yeah, we we just marked our hundredth hundredth show since you saw us yeah. yesterday. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Okay. So what was your fate? Eh, like, I know you've probably done some festivals since then, too. What's been your favorite thing to do this year? Sleep in my bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <watch clothes. laughs> I, I love it. So, be, be a human. Do normal things. <laughs> what a concept, yeah, well, right? More, more acclimated to life on the road than life at home now. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> I'm ready to get back out on the road. I, I was in Europe for doing festivals for over a month. Now I'm back, nice. and now I get to see you at incarceration. Uh, do you? Yeah. 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 Do, do you even realize how exciting it is to do that festival? No. This <laughs> is the first time. We're hyped. Man. Well, we love tattoos, and I'm excited to play in a prison. <laughs> exactly. So I got to tell you, it's funny. My youngest daughter, she always says to me before I'm going to a festival, she's like, oh, so are you excited? I'm like, well, I love doing it. I don't know if excited is the right word when you're doing it all the time. But yeah. then the first time I did incarceration, I called her from the prison yard of Shawshank Prison. I'm like, now I'm excited. <laughs> that's <laughs> sick. That's crazy. Well, that makes me that. excited. So awesome. so I have not realized that it was in Shawshank Prison, yeah. and it's about to get turned up. It's going to be oh, you didn't realize that. Wow. Oh, I, I haven't had time to dive in. Yeah, yeah. we've been doing so much. Tour after tour after tour. Like, since you saw us, you saw us through the anti fly tour. Then we went on tour with Neck D. Then we took a half a second break. Then we uh, played shit rock, did a bunch of stuff. Then we went on tour with Grandson. Then we started the festival circuit and did a lot of flying one-offs. And we are currently on tour with Pop Evil right now with a tour already slated, booked, and announced. For August 30th. For August 30th through September, we set it off. Wow. You have been busy. You, yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's better than not doing any shows at all like the past couple of years, right? We had, we, had, we had two years we had to make up for, dog. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Well, let me give you some insight. You know, this is fun to me because I was interviewing Lacuna Coil at Download Festival. and. Oh. And they're playing too, but they had no idea where they were playing. So yeah, yeah. she was so, Christina was so excited when I told her what it was all about. So yeah, it's at Shawshank Prison. There's another prison next door. It's kind of cool. You guys will be like Johnny Cash because the yeah. inmates will be out in the yard and you'll be performing for the inmates out in the yard. No. <laughs> right? And then... Inside the prison, you got the tattooing, but then, I don't know if you know this, but that prison, the Ohio State Reformatory, is known to be haunted. So, oh, even better. I, yes. So much more with this now. Uh, right? <laughs> prison show the tops here. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, I've never been Seriously. so happy to go to prison. I was just saying before, <laughs> like, man, I can't I wait. I'm oh, going to prison. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But yeah, and then they have down in the basement, 
they actually have the haunted prison. It's called Blood Prison. And oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild, you know. And uh, well, you, will, you will not catch me in the basement. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two things I don't like: prison and ghosts. <laughs> well, I but took a I picture. Will say Blood Prison is kind of a sick death metal band name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that <laughs> definitely a hundred percent. So I will tell you that I did take pictures of me in Red's prison cell. So that was kind of cool. Wow. Oh, nice. You know? So, yeah, it is going to be exciting. It is different. It's different than any other festival you've played. It's like you play all these festivals, and it's like one after another, and then you go to Sh- Shawshank Prison, and then it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be late. I'm hiding out. No, it's like, yeah. It, 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 yeah, we learned more from him about this shit than Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great. This is a great. Oh, right. And you guys are gonna kill it for sure. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's ready. the one guarantee. So, already brought energy. So you're also yeah, gonna sure. be at another one of my favorite festivals that I'll be at, and that's louder than louder than life in September. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, we are hyped. Yeah, yeah very, very excited. That's probably going to be one of the biggest festivals we've ever played, especially with the names associated. Yeah. We're, we're, we're blessed and extremely excited that we're on that. We're going to go ape shit. <laughs> so speaking of names you're associated with, okay, so at Incarceration, is there one set that you just definitely would like to see if you could? Corn. I haven't seen Corn ever. I really want to see Corn. Yep. Wow. That Yeah, yeah. they are really good live. So... They did a press conference at Hellfest, and so did Lacuna oh. Coil. And so there was this one press person that asked the same question of every band, and it's like, if you were going to pick a band to cover one of your songs, who would it be? And so, Oh, shit, that's a great question. Right? And Lacuna Coil said immediately, unanimously, corn. Wow. <laughs> so that's crazy. So what I do during the press conference, I asked Corn, I'm like, hey, earlier in the day, Lacuna Coil said to this question, they picked you. How do you feel about that? And would you do it? <laughs> so I, I called them out, man. And I love that. And so Head was like, oh, yeah, we really like him. And wow, what a compliment. And she, he's like, I'm going to have to go tonight and check out their whole song catalog. <laughs> yeah, we like to do it. Right? That was kind of cool. All right, so now let's go to Louder Than Life. Now which one do you pick at Louder Than Life? Oh, that, that's a lot that's harder. A, that's, a, that's a tough one. Um, um, they got... Let me think. Yeah. We got moved to Sunday, so we can't see the ones that we wanted. Honestly, I am architects. Back. I want to see the architects. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so That album is incredible. And I, honestly, I've never seen Incubus. So I'd love to see Incubus. I've also never seen Died in Chanel's Live. Oh, that's, that's both definitely yeah. Out there. Yeah. oh <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to catch a nine inch nails for sure i gotta tell you too i mean i mean what alice cooper alice cooper mm. at hellfest 74 years old man he must have been acting like he was 20 it was unbelievable that's, yeah. that's awesome amazing and you know what's cool about Incubus? Okay, so I like Incubus, but one time I was at one of the festivals they were playing at, and I was there with this friend of mine, and, I, and we were just like, hey, I didn't realize this was their song. Hey, I didn't realize this was their song. Like, you kind of did, but you didn't, one of those things. And I was like, oh, I like this one too. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I couldn't believe how many songs, like, Incubus plays that, you think it's not them, but is them. It was like one after another was like, oh, I love that song. Oh, I love that song. No, they, they, they have eight full lengths. They have, they've had singles since the you know, early 90s. They've been crushing it forever. Totally. And it, it's always good. That's how you know the music is, is above the brand itself. And it's like, that's cool that, that no matter what, like, you, don't, you, don't, you enjoy it without it being like, knowing that it's incubus, you just know that it's a great song. Totally. Hundred yeah. percent. So yeah, and also yeah, no, just again, what I was saying before is that Jose Pasillas from Incubus is definitely top five favorite drummers for me, hands down. Nice, I love it. You want to know who my favorite all-time drummer is ever? Who? Well, besides your drummer, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Lombardi. 
Dave Lombardo. Oh, that's, that's, you know, I don't. You're not, you're not going to say Matty Mace from Oxymoron? He said that first. <laughs> <laughs> it got to be the first and second. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, what do you think also, okay, we talked about some heavy-duty stuff last time at Riot Fest. What the hell is going on in the world today? That's what I want to know. <laughs> So do we, man. <laughs> Let, call, call us back when you know. <laughs> oh, my God. It couldn't be a better time for Rage Against the Machine to start playing again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a shit show. Oh We're my. still trying to figure out everything. I'm telling you, I like it was so nice and peaceful when I was over in Europe. And I'm like, yeah. I, I got off the plane. And I looked at my phone and all the notifications on Facebook, and I'm like, please put me back on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, we've got Europe in our sights for next year, and it's going to be excited correct. for that specific reason. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Like, it, it was so amazing. You know, I could sit there and have conversations with people without name-calling, without attacking, without having the exact <laughs> same opinion, you know, yep. with, with intelligence, you know, things are like very, very lost somewhere <laughs> today. And it's, it's what seems to be lacking then nowadays is the intelligence part you just mentioned. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what annoys me is people that read these clickbait headlines and then don't even bother to read the article. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. And they just, and they just start talking about it as if they read it. it I know. Exactly. Uh, and that was what that's what was cool about being in Europe. I was like talking to people and actually able to have intelligent conversations where you could learn from each other instead of, oh, you don't think exactly the way I do. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the American way. Yeah. Right. Sometimes, sometimes like you've got to realize we're just we're living in a pool full of lemmings. And everybody <laughs> else just wants to, you know, they're just going to follow themselves off a cliff. Oh, mm. man. Yeah, I can't do that. I'll tell you what. I, I think uh, there's a lot more stranger things going on than that Netflix show right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys need to get on that show because, look, Master of Puppets is now trending after, what, 20 years? I, listen, I, again, I, I, try to, I try to give, like, props when props are due. And I'm just happy that, you know, guitar music is being put back into mainstream media. Yep. How it's gotten there is not maybe necessarily my favorite, but the fact that it's there is the most important. (laughs) Agreed. Well, you know what I find, too, is there's a lot of artists that are bringing back musicianship. It just, like, it's great. I love it. You know, I love when people are being creative and expanding their horizons opposed to I find a lot of bands these days, not not you guys, of course, because you guys are badass, but a lot of bands are like, I mean, they're plugging in. It's almost like an algebraic equation to their music, and that's not what this kind of music's about. I, I, I think I think that's cool, though. I think I think what what guitar driven music overall needs to keep itself prominent is is the innovation. Yeah, because you got to remember what what, what what time time evolves. We're gonna always love what we always love, and you know, even with us, as much as you love us and we highly appreciate it, we're innovative. The sounds that you hear, the things that you hear, aren't in all, aren't in classic rock or aren't in most rock music, and we tend to blend it and make and make it tastefully. And I think that's the thing that, as long as it's tasteful mm-hmm. and not so far left and weird, I think it's cool. I think I think innovation is cool because it really does keep pushing the genre forward because without innovation, it'll be left in the past. And we totally. want to ensure that guitar driven music stays in the forefront. Totally. I just want to give a quick shout out. I want to give a quick shout out to all the people that are making boring ass music because no one's inspired right now. So it causes <laughs> an unflux of people wanting to be inspired and actually change and do something different besides doing the same shit. Like we get it. It's a business. You want to like make money, but it's not even about making money, though. I thought some people want to do it. You know what I mean? Not about the same, yeah. if you're making the same things over and over again, you're not going to make money. People are going to get tired of it. Totally. That's why they had that whole life yeah. of died moment. No, of course. And that's what, and that's what I was saying. That's, but that's, that's their perspective. That's why they're doing it. They, they're just regurgitating the same shit because mm-hmm. they think that, hey, if I keep doing it, it's going to be the same. Right. Like, we're going to get these same results. After a while, it's going to burn out. 
Well, Ali from Bring Me to Rise and said it best in an interview when they were giving him all kinds of crap because of how different every song has become lately. He's like, hey, yeah. why do I want to write the same song over and over again? <laughs> that's exactly. what I'm talking about. Exactly. That's the, you just spoke about creativity. Creativity is literally not doing the same thing over and over Exactly. Be creative. Yes. Exactly. Like, I, I couldn't even imagine, too, okay, you guys as artists, okay, you want to grow and you want to learn the craft. How are you going to learn the craft if you're not being creative and innovative? Exactly. Yeah, imagine if Bring Me the Horizon just stayed that garage grindcore band from 2007. Yeah. Like, what does that benefit anybody? Yeah. <laughs> and, they would, and they would still be in 2007. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's funny. Even bands that I absolutely loved in the 80s, like, I still only love their first albums because after that, <laughs> it just seemed like regurgitation in a more boring fa- manner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, so we talk about this all the time, and we think about like you know the greats and the bands that have like stood the test of time. Is like there's nothing that you can say like they sound like anything else. Yes. You think about Incubus, you think about Chili Peppers, you think about like the catalog Metallica has, and all this other stuff. Like everyone was just trying to copy what they did and was unsuccessful as as they were doing it. You know, and those are the bands that stand the test of time. People were constantly reinventing themselves, doing something different, and trying to push themselves forward musically and creatively. Totally. And even if you go further back to bands like Led Zeppelin and the Beatles, like they change so much from mm-hmm. album to album to album. Yeah, and they should. Yes. You absolutely should. Well, that's, like, what keeps this, that's what keeps this wheel fresh. That's what keeps it new. And that's what people want at the end of the day. I know you have, we have the pockets of people who want to relive their, you know, their heydays over and over through these albums. But that's why you got the albums. <laughs> what, you know, what, what did Jay Z say? If you want my old shit, buy my old album. You know? <laughs> I love that. I that is a great line because you know it must piss musicians <laughs> off when you got people out there like, "Come on, play the old shit, play the old shit." Like you guys want to play the new <laughs> shit, man? Yeah, exactly. One of one of the funniest moments I've ever seen at a concert. Is, this is years and years ago. I saw Switchfoot. Despite how you feel about the band, <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, obviously the end of the show, you know, we were meant to live with so much more. They're like, Hey, we want the crowd to sing, like to start singing the next song that you want us to play. And obviously the whole crowd started singing that single and they all came out and rolled their eyes crazier than I'd ever seen a band roll their eyes before. <laughs> wow. That's cool. I also saw a similar note recently. I can't remember now which one it was, but there was one band that said, okay, we only have one song left. Do you want this one or this one? And they let the <laughs> audience pick which one. That's awesome. I, I, love that. cool. yeah. I would let the audience pick with one and then still play the one that I wanted to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that even better. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Switch up. So what else do you want the listeners to know about what's coming up? Get, give them also your socials, your website address. And, and most importantly, I've been saying this a lot lately, how they can buy your merch because – you don't have to say it, I will. You guys need to support. All musicians need to support. God knows you're not getting it from Spotify plays, so you might as well get some support on merch. Well, funny you should mention that. <laughs> so we do have a new merch shop that launched last week while we were on this tour. Nice. And it's shop.oxymorons.com. Remember, oxymorons is two R's, not one. That's two R's, not one. And it's the same spelling on all our socials. So it's O-X-Y-M-O-R-R-O-N-S dot com, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whatever you're on. My face, Zanga, Zanga. Live Journal. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you're on, that's what we're on. LimeWire. Yeah. <laughs> Check us out. We'll be on tour with Set It Off starting August 30th through September. It's going to be lit. Get some tickets. And then also, we'll have some new music out also. Yes, we got some treats for y'all. We've been working, and we're going to be working even more. Won't divulge any dates or anything like that. Just know we got a lot of special shit. Will I be able to get your new music on LimeWire? <laughs> <laughs> Napster. Napster. Napster only. Who knew that Lars would be right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I love it. You know, you mentioned MySpace. I I actually, I think I still have a profile that automatically puts posts on MySpace. I don't think I've logged in in 50 years, but 
I, I think there's still posts going on somewhere. So that one person, that diehard that's still on my, my pa- MySpace profile, <laughs> they'll probably get a notification of this interview. <laughs> I was going through my old album, uh, like, like real the other day, and I found one of my first MySpace pictures from 2005. Wow. When I was full, fully seamed out, maybe 100 pounds soaking wet, hair covering one eye, and I had the, my digital camera that I held over my head to take the selfie. <laughs> Didn't age very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll need to like you need to bring that picture back and put it on like your Facebook profile now. <laughs> we'll make it the album cover. <laughs> that, oh, that's even better. Yeah. I love that. And I that's cool. another thing I love is album covers, okay? What a lost art for kids these days. Man, I picked my albums by the album cover, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And it always you know, worked new, out. It, new, oh. new day, but I think the covers still matter now because you can do a lot of things with them digitally. And I know we do. One of the things that, that helped us propel, and so you can see what we're doing now, is our single covers, man. We, we remade a lot of iconic rock covers and did our own renditions of them. But that stood out a lot. So I think people just need to get more creative with the covers and enjoy it like we do. I love what you're saying about that. Like with the singles covers, that makes a lot of sense because... I think maybe that would attract people that are in this track, track, track mentality. They'll see it and they'll go, oh, I got to listen to that because I know I would. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, that, and that's the thing. Because, uh, at the end of the day, it, although we don't agree with completely how the music industry has evolved, we're in it. And, and you got to be able to navigate it and, and, and do things. So I think a, a balance of what was, what was always working and then what's going to be moving it forward is a good way to go. So, yeah, I love that. The mere fact that you can get a lot of music, but it's harder to cut through the fat now. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? You're right, because whether you like how the music industry is or not now, you have to navigate it because you don't really have a choice. It is what it is, so make the it's best out. of it. It is. it is what it is, and all you got to do is make the best of it, and that's what life is all about, because guess what? We don't control life either. All we do is make the best of it. That's right. And I'm going to make the best of it, of it at incarceration because you know what's so cool about this year's incarceration is the only that- reason we're doing a phoner is because there's virtually no very, very, very limited on-site interviews. So you know what that means? I'm not stuck you in the press fun? tent. Yes. I'm not stuck in the press <laughs> tent. I can be out there in the mosh pits and everything and, and just enjoy the festival. That'll be cool. You want to get a tattoo together? We could talk about that, but I don't know. <laughs> think, about what, think about what you get, and then, then I'll do it because I, I don't care. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? My youngest daughter would be so pissed because, okay, so all my kids have tattoos. I have no tattoos, and my youngest daughter Uh-oh. has been hocking me forever to get a tattoo with her. And so she would be quite pissed if I came and I was like, oh, check this out, Rachel. That would probably just, be hilarious. Just tattoo her face and it would be all right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That, that would work. <laughs> Except you know what would happen. You tattoo for years and then you took one with uh, the guitarist of Oxymoron. That's great. <laughs> right, right. You, you know what? You know what would happen, though, okay? You know, she's 26 years old, so what she's going to say if I get a tattoo of her face, it's like, Dad, why do you have to pick that picture? I look so horrible right there. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even like when I post pictures of them on, on social media. It's like, Dad, why are you posting that? <laughs> what do you want me to do? They want you to take like 100 pictures. Oh, that one you can post. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I will definitely be posting some of your show at Incarceration because I will be there because I awesome. love the energy and the music you guys bring. And I, all my listeners going to Incarceration, they need to forget everybody else at the festival. They need to only go to the Oxymoron set. I agree. Yeah. Yep. 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 That's the energy. We yeah. You will not be upset. We're on, we're on main stage too, right? Yeah, yeah right. we're playing main stage. We co-signed that statement. There you go. So here's what I'm going to tell the listeners. Unless you go see Oxymorons at Incarceration for their set, you can't listen to my show anymore. <laughs> well, I love that. <laughs> Ride or die. Yep. There it is. I love it. Can't wait to see you there. And you have any final words for our listeners? Live long, prosper, and, and download our music. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Download it. Buy their merch. Check out all yep. their shows. And we'll see you at Inc. and at Louder Than Life and all the rest of your shows. Awesome. Yeah, we'll amazing. see you there. We'll see you there. Rock. Thank Ooh. you. And thank you for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. On W4CY Radio. Radio.